Hey kids, this is our first Bedtime Stories with Miss Elaine, and I thought it might be fun tonight to read a story that's one of my favorite fall stories to you while I sit by my fireplace in my PJs with my book and my cozy toy. So hopefully you can grab a cozy toy, maybe be in your PJs, and read this book along with me. It's called The Legend of Spookly the Square Pumpkin. It's by Rick Joe Troyano and illustrated by Susan Bonta. And for parents, there is a video as well. One day in the pumpkin patch, the strangest little pumpkin hatched. Spookly wasn't like his friends. Where they had, heart, had curves, he had ends. Spookly was different. He was odd. He was rare. Spookly, the pumpkin, wasn't round. He was square. Can you see which one Spookly is? While the round pumpkins had fun rolling along, poor Spookly sat there shaped all wrong. He tried and tried with all his might, but he couldn't budge. He just sat tight. The other pumpkins teased him because he was square. Spookly wished he was round and could roll everywhere. That is, until one night when they all discovered it's fine to be round when the weather is fair, but there are times it's better to be a square. <gasps> I wonder when those times are. When is it better to be a square? think about that because round things roll when might it be better to be a square Halloween was just a day away when a mighty storm blew across the bay it tossed the round pumpkins to and fro it snapped their vines then off they'd go bouncing left slamming right banging bashing what a sight spookly sat there filled with fright but glad to be a square that night if you've ever been in a storm you know how scary it can be Suddenly the fence gave way. Three pumpkins rolled out into the bay. <sighs> if you've ever been to the beach, you may know what a bay is, but if not, you may not. So where the water is at the ocean, the part that's closer to the to the land, the sand part, is the bay. And so Spookly and a lot or a lot of the pumpkins rolled out. Spookly knew what must be done. It was up to him. He was the one. He teetered, he tottered, he tipped, he tried, and finally flipped. He was on his side. Again he tipped, again he flipped, again he flipped, and then... I wonder what he's doing. He can't roll like the other pumpkins. He's different. But he's getting there somehow. He stopped. Right in the gap where the fence had snapped, he blocked the way. The hole was capped. All the pumpkins shouted, hooray! Spookly, the square pumpkin, saved the day. Then a pumpkin hit him with a whack. He thought his shell would start to crack. Then another one hit him with a thump and another one with a smack. They all started rolling into him, didn't they? But he blocked the hole so they didn't roll into the bay. Then one by one, a ton of pumpkins piled on the stack with a bang and a bash and a crunch and a crash. And then it all went I wonder why it went black. What's that about? Look, he's way underneath at the bottom. At dawn, that's when the sun comes up. When the storm had stopped, the farmer came out and checked his crop. He picked his pumpkins up one by one and laid them out in the warm, dry sun. And when the last one was moved away, the farmer could see what, what had saved the day, an odd-shaped pumpkin short and dense was wedged against the broken fence its shell was bruised its stem was too but there was a brave little spookly sitting straight and strong and true right then and there the farmer knew of all the seeds he'd ever sown spookleys were the most special that he had ever grown And then the next year, when it was time to sow, he sowed those seeds in every row. He watered and weeded and watched them grow. And oh, that morning about mid-June, when the pumpkin patch began to bloom, there were tiny pumpkins everywhere. Hundreds and hundreds, most of them square. But,
Some were cubes and others were rectangular. Some were flat and others triangular. They were triangles with three sides. There was a bed of bright red ones and rows of blue. There were polka dot pumpkins and rainbow ones too. There were thousands of colors and hundreds of shapes. Oh, what a garden variety makes. Look at all those different pumpkins. Nobody's the same. They're all different and special. Now, every year on Halloween, Spookly's Patch is quite a scene. People come from far and near to see what wonders grew that year. They stop, they gawk, they, they gaze, they stare. Then they pick a pumpkin that's round, triangular, or perfectly square. Now you know the story of how Spookly grew. Maybe someday if you tell someone too, that someone you tell might go tell another and maybe one day we will all discover you can't judge a book or a pumpkin by its cover. Isn't that a fun book, Spookly the Square Pumpkin? And look, I actually have a Spookly doll. Look, his little arms go wide. Spookly, he's not a round pumpkin, he's a square pumpkin. He could actually stand on the table in front of me. Have you ever been to a real pumpkin patch? I bet you have, especially if you live in this area in Illinois, there are lots of pumpkins. Or maybe you've been to a pumpkin patch where the pumpkins are already picked and out for you. Some pumpkins may be ginormous. I saw some really big ones the other day and some are teeny, itsy bitsy tiny. In fact, I have a few I'll show you. Mm. Look at this little tiny pumpkin, isn't he cute? He's got orange and yellow and stripes and things. He's a perfect little pumpkin. But then there was this other cool pumpkin that got shared with us when we went to the pumpkin patch. Look at this. It might be more like a gourd, but look, it's really like three pumpkins in one. Now, a lot of people would go, I don't want that pumpkin. It looks too strange, but our family liked it because it reminded us of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, how they're all in one, even separate personalities. Well, what I want you to think about the next time you feel out of place, maybe you have different hair color than other people, maybe your skin doesn't look the same, maybe you don't walk the same as others or hold things the same, maybe your eyes look different or they work differently or you hear differently than other people, but you know what? God can use those differences in you to help other people. You never know what God can use. So I want you to remember Spookly and how God used Spookly in this story to help his friends so they didn't all fall into the water and get lost. He was able to stay in a spot because he was different than the other pumpkins. He wasn't round, he was square, so he could stand there and be the strong part for the other people or the other pumpkins in this story. So when you're at school or when you're at home and you have a chance to help other people, that's exactly what Jesus wants you to do. He wants you to act like him. And Jesus didn't always hang out with the people that were the most handsome or the most beautiful. He didn't hang out with the ones that were the most popular or the best athletes. He went and hung out with the people who were sad, with the people who didn't fit in, maybe the people who were even stinky. But that's what we should do too, following Jesus. We wanna to try to do and say the things that he taught us. And when we do that, that makes us become what we call a disciple, what Jesus called disciples. He said, come and follow me and do what I do. And I'll help teach you how to be fishers of men or how to tell people to be like me. So the first step is remember that Jesus made you, that you're super special just as you are, and that nobody in this whole world is like you, just like Spookly. And that, God, that in this story, Spookly had a very special job, just like you. Who knows what you'll grow up to be, but even as a kid, you can be have a special job and help other people too. So remember that today. Let's say a quick prayer and then you can have a great night's sleep. Thank you, God, so very much for stories. Thank you for Spookly. Thank you for pumpkins. Thank you for fall and leaves and cooler weather. Please help the kids to sleep well tonight, to remember that they are super special to you and to their families, and to wake up in the morning saying, God, how do you want me to be used today? What can I do to help other people feel special and safe? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope to see you Sunday. Bye-bye.